So let's bring in Ryan Broderick, a reporter for BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed has made more lists than I can even <laughs> think of. Yes. But, you know, the list for the viral moments, one of our favorites here. One of the things that was remarkable in this list and in these viral moments is a lot of them were actually newsy. They were actually about stuff that mattered, about stuff that was happening. Right. You talk about the Charles Ramsey video. Sure. Uh, Charles Ramsey is probably one of the best examples of that viral news peg just going everywhere. And, uh, you know, he gave this incredible, incredible interview uh, after the Amanda Berry case. And his candidness was just so explosive that everyone went wild with it. And they couldn't believe, you know, he was on camera saying these great things. And people just ran with him. He's such a likable guy. So you? much personality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he had one one-liner after another. It was incredible. And this, this isn't the last we hear from Robert Field. No, I was actually just reading. He got a book deal, and uh, they're saying that his story is uh, far from over. He's got mm -hmm. more to say, which, you know, can't, can't complain about that. No, not at all. Our, our next one is also a story that I think made people, not only did it have a newsy peg, but I think it made people ask themselves, what would I do in this mm -hmm. situation? Matthew Cordell, you might remember the young man who did an, a compelling online confession to a DUI. Yeah, this was really unprecedented. Um, people have always been using the internet to confess things, but it's usually anonymous. But to have someone use his own name and his own face and confess to something this, you know, horrible, uh, a lot of people were really torn about it. You know, is this right? Is this wrong? Are we sensationalizing this? And it controversy and whole conversation. He did end up with a jail sentence he here. Did. He did end up, you know, suffering well, serious yeah. consequences here, and he will be in jail for a while. I want to kind of make a, a turn here. Well, most of us, we talk about viral videos, we talk about <laughs> the silly and the inane, and there was right. this one video I think we all have great respect for. I think you have great respect uh, for. We it. received 15 million views. This was the Jimmy Kimmel inspired Yes. Fake twerking gone wrong video. Explain We're this one to me. Right. So this video is kind of incredible. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel's staff put it online a few months before it even went viral. I mean, or a few weeks, I'm sorry. And they didn't tell anybody. And all of a sudden, like the internet does, it just bubbled up into this massive <laughs> sensation. And everyone uh, couldn't believe that someone had lit themselves on fire twerking. So and then he reveals... Uh, that it, he had done it himself and it was all a big hoax. But then you could argue, <laughs> is it even a hoax? Or right. was that the entertainment value? Yeah, that's it's a good point. Stick. Yeah, did he trick us and is that the I, I think it's a lesson right. for everyone too, which is don't necessarily believe everything you see online. Yeah, take every, you know, the, the old uh, adage, uh, everyone is lying on the internet. How is about it, that other video that we kind of showed at the top of the hour, or not the top of the hour, the top of the segment, where we saw the, the girl doing the dance and it was kind of like her farewell after, <laughs> you know, she was leaving her job. Right. Um, obviously, she's a pretty talented dancer when you look at the video, oh, but what else great. makes that video successful? It's great, yeah. Uh, um, this video really struck a chord. Um, I kept reading that it was such a millennial thing to do, uh, to have, you know, this young person dancing and quitting their job and then having that video go viral. And and it was great. It started a bunch of responses and a bunch of parodies. Uh, there was one with a mom who went on strike and she <laughs> used that uh, method to tell her family no more. Um, it, it was a really fun thing and it really like, it, it made people want to do the same thing. Well, and you'll remember the response. The company did their own video in response to her being gone, which was kind of made it a whole fantastic call and response. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great call and response. Uh, you know, the subject of jobs and people who shouldn't, maybe shouldn't have there isn't something of an internet viral star from Canada, more about Canada. <laughs> You know, Rob Ford. I don't, yes. I don't want to take this one. Rob Ford has taken over the internet. Rob Ford is a living viral Toronto video. Mayor. Everything this man does is just rife for online fodder. Um, yeah, the, the one that immediately comes to mind is him pushing that poor woman over. Oh. Um, but everything, every interview he did, all of the really inappropriate things he would say on camera, it was, it was kind of breathtaking. So that's right. no fear. No. No. But what it will guarantee is that, you know, until he finishes his term or they kick him out, every press conference he ever holds will always have cameras in front of it. Toronto politics will be covered for forever now. <laughs> let's, let's leave people with an inspiring image, Can shall we? we? Is this, this your is favorite? This is Jean-Claude Van Damme. Ah, yeah. I heard that John he Berman tried this one. <laughs> really? Now, with two big uh, trucks? I, I haven't touched my toes since the Reagan administration. <laughs> like, I can't get a split. Like, you know, there's nothing even close to that. My now we know why you were gone all week last week. <laughs> my favorite take in this actually was Channing Tatum's yeah, parody so with the trash cans. 
Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, oh, I definitely wow. suggest it. But and yeah, only Jean, only Jean Claude Van Damme. To remind people that wasn't fake. They were going very, very, very slowly backwards. And he's very, also very wrong, and he's but very, very real. He's, he's very, very trained. Uh, yeah, splitter. Well, we appreciate you bringing all of this to us. It was an epic year for Bioware videos. Some Definitely. of them with a serious spin, and some of them like that with a lot of fun in them. Ryan Broderick from BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed's got a lot of other lists. I recommend checking him out. 2013 <laughs> lists. You can make a list of lists. They did. I think. Did they? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's all for us here on New Day. It is time for Newsroom. Kira Phillips, my girl.